Hello, this is the last video about making Snow White. Um, there's a whole video series, if you didn't know, which I'll link somewhere here or down below somewhere on YouTube. Anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly say I'm so sorry that I didn't get any like full length landscape footage of my Snow White cosplay, but I did get some vertical portrait clips on my phone when I was at the convention wearing this cosplay. I will be wearing it again and I hope to get more landscape footage soon, um, but that won't be for another couple months or so at least. So I'm so sorry that I couldn't actually get like proper clips, um, but I hope that, you know, just like the short clips um, filmed in portrait mode give you an idea of what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed following making this cosplay. It was super fun and I love it. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the video. So beginning where we left off, we had done pretty much everything. There were just minor things that we needed to do, like put in the eyelets in the sleeves. And so that's what I'm doing now. I didn't have my all at this time, so I had to improvise and use a bunch of different tools, including a screwdriver, a pen, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. So I used whatever I could to try and make that hole bigger so I could fit the eyelet into, into that hole. Um, I bought my eyelets off eBay, I think, and there's generally these two parts to it, and you stick the, um, the one that has the little ridge into the hole from the outside, so from the good side of the fabric, and then I used my little awl, unfortunately I can't use this to make eyelets because it's not big enough, um, but I used this little awl to push the fabric to the sides of the eyelet piece and then I put the other side of the eyelet on and then stuck that underneath my eyelet tool, squished that all down with quite a bit of force and that should secure the eyelet in place. I would recommend that you do a few tests with the fabric before you do it for real because I mess this up always. I ended up putting five eyelids on either shoulder seam, so both on the left and right obviously, and I also put eyelids on the actual sleeve parts, so the upper sleeve and the lower sleeve. To attach the sleeve pieces together, I used this, the first time I tried it at least, I used this rope. Um, I unfortunately didn't buy enough of this rope, so when I cut it into the different amounts that I needed, I just, they weren't long enough and so they looked really funny. And you'll see in the next clip that I did not like how this looked on me at all. Um, there wasn't enough of a gap left between each of the sleeve pieces and it didn't sit right on my arm. Um, there wasn't any space for my elbow to bend and yeah, just overall wasn't happy. So instead I, I actually had this leftover very lightweight thin ribbon laying around and I thought this would be good to use. I made sure to do a test and make sure that there was enough room or space in between the top and the bottom sleeve pieces so I could freely move my arm. So that's what I'm testing here and I was much happier with how this turned out. I also tried it on with my glove just to make sure that sat all nicely. So once I was happy with that, I then used one side as a guide to do the, um, the remaining side. And this is how I tied the ribbons onto the sleeves. Um, and I made sure to leave a space of about three inches, I think it was, in between the top and the bottom sleeve. And yeah, I was much happier with how this one turned out. And when I tried it on for the final time, you can, you can see that it's all good. And like I said, I didn't get any landscape footage, but I hope you enjoy these clips from the day of the convention. So I did my makeup nice and natural. I was very happy with how my makeup turned out. And yeah, I took some of these shots in the backyard and it was super fun to wear. It's super comfortable and I love twirling in it. I can't wait to wear this again in April uh, for Gold Nova and I'll be doing a whole once upon a time group with my friends. So I am really, really looking forward to that. 
I hope you enjoyed this whole video series. Leave a comment down below if you actually followed along every video and let me know who your favorite character from once is. Until next time, stay creative.